Hello, it's Day here from DayWilliams.com and Day Williams Healthy Beauty Facebook page. And I'm going to share some ideas with you about skincare basics. And I'm going to break this into two different groups. I'm going to do one video on um, drier, dehydrated, or matured skin, and then one that's more on oily or congested or um, combination kinds of skin. So this one's going to be more focused on uh, the drier side first. Okay, so I'm just going to break down the, the steps, essentially what you would do if you wanted to do a complete facial on yourself or, you know, a daily kind of routine and, and why. And um, first is it's really important to be cleansing your face. And I don't cleanse my face in the morning. I, I do that at night. And I feel like for sure it's just so worth the time investment to get the, the, any makeup that you have on. Even if you don't wear makeup, um, there's just, you know, the, what I think of as the dirt of the day that's just, con you know, collected onto your skin. And then your skin's an elimination organ so all day long it's releasing toxins and things like that so it's just really good to give it a, a wash and it's freshening and I, I just love the experience of shutting my eyes and just being with the water and the yummy smells of the things that I use so I clean my face before like more around dinner time when I'm in the kitchen kitchen puttering I don't wait until after I've settled in in any way because then it's just not as inspired to get up and take care of it it's just nice to do it um, early on and so um, I take off my makeup. There's a video that I did on a makeup remover that I use olive oil or coconut oil, so you can get the details about that. And then I wash my skin with um, you know, a variety of different things. I like mixing different cleansing um, grains and things that are part of my line together, and I like mixing them with some honey because I have really dry skin. But basically, I do a nice cleansing. And then um, I spritz with a hydrating floral water, very important and then I moisturize and then I spritz again and when you moisturize you want your skin to be like drippy wet especially if you're dry or dehydrated you really want to be sealing in as much water as possible and just doing that you'll notice a big difference in the, the shift of how buttery your skin gets and then um, so spritz moisturize spritz again and then I do I treatment kinds of things. I have some amazing little lip and eye balms that I love and I just pat them around ever so gently and then I always treat my upper lip area the same way that I do my eye area and my decollete because all of these areas are angled and the sun hits them in a very pro pronounced way and they're all areas where the skin is just thinner so they need some extra love and um, and with that, you know, I'm pretty well ready to go to bed all, all yummy smelling and slathered and shiny and glowy. And then when I get up in the morning, I just splash some water on my face. I love doing masks in the morning because that's what works for my life. And if you're a person who takes a shower in the morning, it's really nice to whip on a mask and then just get in the shower and rinse it off. But for any skin type, and particularly dry skin, exfoliating is one of the most important things. And I'm an advocate of exfoliants that just basically dissolve the dead skin or dissolve the glue that's between one skin cell and the layer underneath it. And um, I don't really vote for any kind of super harsh, um, you know, alpha hydroxy acids or acid based. Um, masks that are very isolated um, components. I think you're better off with a whole fruit or something that has those acids in it or um, the lactic acid in yogurt or things like that because um, they just tend to oversensitize your skin. And I just notice um, if you want skin that's really resilient, so that's one of the things I love about my skin, is that you don't want to be doing things that are constantly compromising it. And that includes for me exfoliating using abrasive forms of exfoliation. I just don't think that, that those are the best way to go from experience on my own skin and you know working with you know literally thousands of um, people. So um, in my line, my favorite is green papaya as an exfoliant and I have two masks, one that's just straight green papaya powder and then one that's um, green papaya powder and um, dehydrated blueberries that's amazing. So. So, um, so masking in the morning or in the evening, but you would want to do that after you cleanse your face. And then once you rinse it off, um, you can spritz again with floral hydrating waters and then moisturize and spritz again and then um, you're ready to go if you do wear makeup or anything like that. So that's kind of in a nutshell, um, taking care of skin that's a little bit on the drier side. So let me know if you have specific questions. I'm so happy to answer them. I'm all about it. Okay, bye now.